Hey guys, what is up? This is Oikul back with another fly tying tutorial. In today's video, I thought I would tie you guys the Hairy Mary Salmon Fly. Due to the circumstances we're in at the moment, that being lockdown, uh, I found it quite tricky to purchase the right colour of hooks for this. Um, so in today's video, I'll be using a silver. Uh, this is, um, it's not ideal. Uh, ideally, I'd be wanting to use a black. Um, a black probably would be the best. Um, but yeah, we, we'll make do with this, I think, guys. Uh, so this is a size 8 salmon double silver. Um, and the uni thread which we're going to be tying with is black uni thread 80. So, um, I'm just going to grab my scissors. I'll just be a second, guys. So now that I've grabbed my scissors, I think that we can begin the tutorial. So we're going to start, obviously, by tying in our uni thread like so. Nice tight touching turns so that none of the silver body is showing. So we're going to want as little as that as possible because this really shouldn't be tied on a silver. Um, guys, I just want to apologise quickly um, for on behalf of Shin, actually, uh, and Tay as well. Uh, because they have run into a bit of an issue. They are out of hooks, um, uh, as I am too, until I realised that I had this whole other packet. So I'll be keeping you guys entertained uh, whilst in the meantime Shin and Tay I think have ordered some new uh, hooks and they'll be on their way shortly, uh, hopefully by Wednesday. So we'll see some more uh, videos of theirs soon. Now guys I'm just cutting some oval tinsel, silver oval tinsel and I'm just tying it in. Uh, yeah, so that's basically just the apologies I'm saying and also uh, as I've mentioned in previous videos uh, Lots of times I won't go over it again. Uh, I won't be uploading too many videos uh, Later on in the week. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be The channel will uh, unfortunately be a, a little bit of a stalemate uh, But that's okay. We uh, as soon as we can we'll be up and running with some more videos to entertain you guys so, I'm just tying this in, being careful not to snag my uni thread on the uh, on our hooks. Uh, and then we're just going to begin to uh, form the tag by tying in the oval tinsel. Uh, you can do it three or four times. I'm just going to do it three times. Bring it under one of the hooks, pull it back nicely, and just catch it in like so, using the uni thread. Once it's caught in, and I'm happy... So I'm satisfied with that. I'll just take it underneath one of the hooks, like so, and put it in the spring at the back of my vise. Now, guys, we're going to use some, if you can see here, we're going to use some golden pheasant. Uh, yeah, the golden pheasant, which we're going to be wanting, is not, not too much, guys, uh, enough. So that's, that's a good amount, if you can see that. Uh, that's what we're, that's ideal. So I'll just cut that off. And the length is, if you see this, to the point of the hook, uh, wait, yeah, that one's better, to the point of the hook, right down to about there, um, the curve, uh, you're wanting about double that size as the length, uh, as the length for, the, for tying in the golden pheasant. So, tying it in like so. Uh, I do believe in a couple of weeks, me and uh, Tay and Shin will be doing a collaborative video like that of the black ball. Um, yeah, although I'm not sure if we'll all be tying the same fly. Uh, we haven't really decided upon it, uh, but yeah. So take that back just a tiny bit more. There, I'm satisfied with that. Uh, cut off the excess. Uh, also, guys, I just want to mention that if my uh, recording equipment does suddenly cut me off uh, quite suddenly, then uh, it's due to low battery and a lack of storage space. Hopefully it won't do that, but you know, you can never be too sure. So I've got myself some black floss here. And I'm just gonna 
cut off three or four inches and uh, lick the ends just to bring all of the floss together. Uh, today's shout out in today's video will go to uh, Noob Skills. He's been commenting down in uh, our videos quite a lot and it's been nice to see. Uh, so yeah, I'm really grateful for that. Um, so yeah, uh, sh uh, sorry, shout out goes to Noob Skills. Uh, if you guys do want to be shouted out, uh, then just drop us a comment down below. Uh, have a chat with us and we'll, we'll see fit to giving you guys a shout out. So I'm just wrapping around my my black floss like so. Just making sure that all of the silver parts of this uh, hook are covered up nicely and out of view. And I'm sorry if there's any background noise. Uh, that will be mainly due to construction. Uh, around our house uh, we have actually got a JCB in the garden so uh, I do apologize just tying that off and just neating up the head like so um, and now I'm just gonna take my oval tinsel I'm just gonna wind it down the down the body of the fly just ribbing it like so I reckon four will be enough and then I'll catch that in using my uh, uni thread um, and yeah, that, that looks good to me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, if I can get that off, yeah, I'm going to cut off the excess. Uh, also guys, down in the comments, tell us what you think of the new intro to our videos. I haven't been able to send it to Shin yet, but that will uh, hopefully happen shortly so he can add it into his videos as well. Um, but what I'm going to do, guys, is if you have a vice like mine, you can just turn it upside down like so. Uh, and we're just going to get some uh, blue, blue hackles. And I'm going to choose out a really, really big one, guys. We're not, at, in fact, adding a hackle at all. We're just going to use the use that part of the hackle as a sort of underwing to the fly. So we'll take off a reasonable amount, like so. Uh, that's probably enough for me. Wait, let's just bunch that all together so I can show you guys a bit easier. Uh, that's going to be enough for me, not too overwhelming. And I'll just cut off the ends to that. Not too much, just enough so that it's not poking out too badly. Um, I'm, f I'm feeling like I should maybe turn around my vice, but I'm not going to. It's just spiking me, my vice, which is slightly irritating. Spiking my fingers. Oh, and if I can get that tied in. Nope. Uh, okay, I'll try once more. There we go. I believe that's us tied in. Turn our vice around, like so. Push all of the fibres forward uh, and just neaten up the head a bit like so. Uh, and that's us good to go. So I'm just bringing my, my uni thread right down to the eye because uh, we're now going to add in. Well, you can use brown bucktail, but I understand that brown bucktail, if you're going to get a whole big thing of it, uh, it might be a slight slight waste of money because you know when when else do you really use brown bucktail so that's why I'm, I've just got a squirrel tail like so uh, I just dyed it actually uh, to make it a bit yellow obviously you guys don't do that this is red squirrel but it was uh, it wasn't killed for the purposes of the video um, don't worry so I'm going to cut off um, a bit like so uh, the size guide is you're kind of wanting the squirrel tail to go to about there. The end of my scissors points to where I'm going to want it. Lick the fibres just to bring them all together. And then I will begin to tie that in like so. A few turns just to catch everything in. Some of it's still not caught in, so I'm just going to turn it again and again and again. Even so, just a few more. So that's me pretty satisfied with that. That's the, um, this is kind of like an ideal size, size guide to this fly. I'm kind of happy with this actually. This has turned out really nice, guys. 
this is the original Harry Mary pattern and that's looking that's looking good so just going to cut off my uni thread and this really marks the end of the video guys so as always guys if you have enjoyed today's video go smash the like button uh, if you're new to the channel and you have uh, viewed this whole video then it would be greatly appreciated if you guys are uh, subscribed to the channel because I do understand that most viewers aren't subscribing even if you don't turn on notifications it'd just be nice to have a have a little bit more subscribers just to egg on the the people who are like considering subscribing but aren't because it's a uh, low subscribe channel um yes yeah, so that'd be nice i've just done that three or four times then varnish the head of your fly and that will be you guys finished yeah so uh share this with some other fly time friends of yours uh, and for now guys that is gonna be me done goodbye